LSU in control and really have been since the outset. That was Jordan Thompson with the solo home run in the second inning. Big hit from Gavin Dugas. He had a solo home run in the third inning. And then Drew Bianco with a two-run single in the third inning as well. LSU scored in the first five frames. One in the first, two in the second, three in the third, two in the fourth, and one in the fifth. The starter Helmers with three innings. T.J. McCants off the hands, pops it up, and Thompson can't run it down at short. Strike three called. Baker goes away looking. He clearly did not agree. Alderman hits it high in the air to shallow right. Cruz just has to wait for it to come down. And he squeezes it for the second out of the inning. How can we start playing better baseball? Pick the ball up, throw it over first base when we need to. Doors, but. Ground ball right side, base hit for Jacob Gonzalez. McCants hits the bag at third. He will come around to score. And Van Cleve goes first to third. It's an RBI single for Jacob Gonzalez, his third hit of the day, and it's now 9-2. He lifts it to left field. This would pretty well hit. Dugas to the track, watches it hit the back wall of the bullpen. A three-run home run for Peyton Chatagnier. And Ole Miss cuts the lead to four. Graham lines this off the glove of Bianco out into right field, and the inning stays alive for Ole Miss with two down. Another full count coming. Oh, Ooh, and it hit Dunhurst in the back of the head, and he goes down. The bullpen. Just missed. My goodness, that was a close pitch. And the bases are loaded, and the potential tying run comes to the plate. In the form of T.J. McCants, who led the inning off with a single. And he hits a fly ball to center field to Giacomo, going back, still going back. That ball is gone, and we are tied at nine. T.J. McCann, a grand salami, and we are tied. Are you kidding me? An eight-run bottom of the eighth inning. T.J. McCants just tied this game. Takes a first pitch fastball down the middle and just drives it over the center field wall. I mean, are you kidding me? Fly ball to center, and McCants makes the catch. 2-2. This ball lifted into right center. That's going to be a base hit for Brody Drost, and it's going to go all the way to the wall. McCant scoops it up on the warning track, and a pinch hit, one-out double for Brody Drost. And swings and chases what would have been a ball for the second out of the inning. So now swing and a miss. Got him. On the slider, down and away, and Ole Miss will have a chance, improbably, to win this game in the bottom of the ninth. Can Ole Miss complete the comeback in the bottom of the ninth inning? LSU, nine runs, 13 hits. Ole Miss, nine runs on 12 hits, but eight of those nine runs came in the bottom of the eighth inning, including four of them on one swing by T.J. McCants, a grand slam to tie this game. And now the freshman, Kemp Alderman, who made his Ole Miss debut on Tuesday night, leads off in the bottom of the ninth inning against Ty Floyd. And he hits a high fly ball to right field. Forget about it. Walk him <laughs> off, freshman. Ole Miss comes from eight down. One swing, an opposite field solo shot to beat LSU 10-9. to nine. <laughs> Unbelievable fashion. The freshman McCants ties it with the Grand Slam. The freshman Alderman wins it. Are you kidding me? A wildly improbable come from behind victory for Ole Miss, trailing 9-1 in the bottom of the eighth inning. An eight-run bottom of the eighth. 
And a solo walk-off home run by Kemp Alderman. The most delicious oppo taco you will get if you're an Ole Miss fan. Watch this fastball just drives and he hits it off the back wall of the student section. I and mean, that ball was absolutely torched it right away. Watch where this ball lands. Opposite field off the brick back there. Gracious.